where you know we're in a modern era where a lot of the alpha males or a lot of the solid people are no longer around. When you got the guys that were pretty much bullied, punked, spat on smack, they're walking around here like they shot callers. And what made me do this video was I was looking at an episode of Drink Chance with Steve Stout. And he said something that was very ridiculous. Where he said that AZ's rhymes didn't age well beside Life's a Bitch and Mo Money Mo Murder. Is this nigga serious? AZ is possibly one of the most underrated, flyest rappers to ever do it. Listen to the kickoff verse he did with Firm Biz. I mean, rather unique. Sugar Hill, which went platinum. Hey AZ, which would have been platinum if, you know, New Tribe didn't drop the ball. Listen to the birth that he did with RZA. Listen to the Flyers with Nas. The Essence with Nas. That whole Asiatic album. The Nine, the nine um, Lives album. I mean, if this, dick, this dude can't be serious, man. This dude can't be serious. And this is what's been going on, man. You got a lot of these guys all of a sudden. The big, the, 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 the dogs that was running it, like Dame Dash, Suge Knight, Jay Prince, all them that understood the streets and understood what moved in the streets, understood talent and fought for talent, they're no longer really relevant in the scheme of things. So now you got the people that were bullied, that were punk, guys like Steve Stout, the guy who's famous for getting his head busted. Now he's out there. Acting like he's some big shot caller. I looked at it on an interview the other day with him. He was, he had a big old cigar like he this big boss. When in reality, this was the same dude that was keeping his head down when Puffy busted him upside the head. When Suge Knight when them was chasing him. So, and Dame Dash was smacking him. So it's like, this thing is crazy to be. Like, this whole thing is crazy to be, man. It's just a weird time that we live it in that, you know, this dude could come out there and disrespect AZ to that regard and limit him to just two verses out of his whole 20-year career. They just did a BET special on the impact of Do or Die. Like, come on. This is where Off The Cuff Radio needs to be supported. This is where Screwball Radio needs to be supported because you need voices like mine to counteract the crap that's spewing out right now. So, people who looking for AZ, man, check out Asiatic, check out Nine Lives, Door Die 2, Door Die. If you can find this album, Pieces of a Man, AZ deserves his props. Even his verses on the Firm album was dope. And if, just based off that, I'm going to try to reach the AZ and get him on the show. Because we got to hold our legends to a better regard than this. I understand criticism and critiquing, but this dude was just way off. It seems like to me that he was he wanted to manage AZ and AZ turned him down, and so now he just want to throw this crap out there. So let me know what you guys think. Holla.